AI tools like ChatGPT, Google Bard AI have got a lot of attention recently. A lot of users have used these tools as well as a lot of people are still waiting to learn them. Now, let's learn the technology behind these tools which is generative AI. So what is generative AI? AI that generates content like text, images, code, campaigns, this is generative AI. The word itself generative talks about you know, the functionality of this AI. This AI is, is like a advanced version of chatbot. So the chatbots that we know from uh, you know, previous times, uh, these were programmatic. That's, that's, that's they were uh, programmed to respond to uh, certain customer queries. Let's say if customers say X, then the Y should be the response. If customer says X1, Y1 should be the response. Those were the chatbots. But now when you talk about generative AI, the chatbots that we have now are like modern and really powerful. Some of the popular techniques that are used in the generative AI are generative adversarial network, GAN, variational autoencoder, VAE, and transformers, which is a autoregression model. So a bit about these models. Uh, so if you talk about GAN, GAN uses two ML models which are trained at the same time. One of this model is called generator and the other one is called discriminator. Generator creates new output that resemble the training data and discriminator evaluates that the generated data and provide the feedback to generator to improve this output. Similarly, when we talk about VAE, it is a single ML model as compared to the GAN where there were two models. So in VAE, the single ML model, uh, it is used to encode the data into low dimensional representation to capture the data important features and structure and architecture. And later on, this is again after uh, encoding, it is decoded. So this encoding decoding cycle gives the important feature of the data. Similarly, if we talk about transformer, it is an auto regression model where the previous uh, generated data is taken as an output for the next data. So it is also a sort of a decoder that we talk about. With that, now let's talk about the top use cases of generative AI. So though there might be a lot of uh, use cases and that's what a lot of people are figuring about, but still if you talk about some of the top use cases, uh, some, some of these which come to my mind is like the chatbot, uh, which is, you know, the, these chatbots that existed previously, they can be more uh, natural, they can speak more natural language, and this is intended to increase, uh, to improve the user experience. So a lot of different organization, a lot of different companies who are offering the online services can use the chatbots powered with these generative AI and improve the overall user experience. Then enhancing the creativity is another and the top use case right now, where a lot of people are using the tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard AI to create new music based on certain properties and genre that they would like to feed in. Blogs, uh, developers are writing code. Uh, you know, they are also improving on their existing code. They are, uh, uh, you know, if there are some issues, they're, de of course, decoding those as well as to generate new marketing campaigns, get some ideas. These are also some of the ways to enhance the creativity that we talk about. And then another use case is the video game development. In video game development, if we provide the uh, inputs to the model uh, around the properties and types of character we would like to have the storyline, then of course there can be a uh, you know, good script created by the video game development uh, you know, perspective as well as the video uh, for it. And then the product design. So there can be a lot of uh, different inputs that can be given to get the product design ideas. So these are some of the top use cases uh, that we see with generative AI. Thanks for joining. Uh, in the next video, I'll be bringing a deep dive into chat GPT and its power and how you can use it to uh, you know, make yourself more efficient.